Alright, so welcome to the channel again guys uh, This time we will going to um, talk about my uh, PvP build So without further ado, let's go So currently we are using this uh, set of gears uh, Previously, previously uh, I've shown you the PvE, uh, PvE build and we'll update on that uh, as we climb up in the higher floors of Eternal Tower, Endless Tower. So for now, we're going to focus on my uh, PvP build. So let's get this uh, boss first. My uh, uh, voice is much clearer than a quieter okay so uh, these are my gears um, on my uh, headgear I, I'm still using the ancient gold ornament and instead of mastering this time I'm using um, four pieces uh, or hero cards which uh, still I'm I'm trying to level up for now, uh, level 70 will do. So, uh, these are the stats. So, kindly pause uh, if you want to. And on my uh, armor, uh, still using a PS plate, uh, tier 8. And these are my cards. And for the weapon, um, still the same. Uh, the the reason why I go for uh, two times goblin leader and two times wolf card it's because um, goblin leader deals more um, damage when using a skill um, wolf uh, on the other on the other hand gives the best damage output during basic attack so you can say that the cards in my weapons are uh, on a hybrid uh, setup. Goblin leader for the skills and wolf card for the DPS. And for our ring, uh, we replace our uh, ring of chaos with the king's protection. So by the way, our our build is uh, this build is a flea build. As you can see, my flea is. Uh, almost 4,000, 3,933 uh, We focus this on flea for this one So uh, we focus this on flea and survivability That's why I use uh, ring protection on my rings To have a uh, higher width and HP And we use this uh, Chun Chun card this time Instead of uh, Infinite Osiris, um, all all my Chun Chun has a uh, dark blue agility attribute, so get as much as uh, agility as you can with this build. As uh, as I've mentioned earlier, this is a flea build, so the higher the agility, the better. We, we are using Harpy's Feather instead of. Um, Blackwing Brooch or Cold Heart. So we are uh, aiming for this um, additional flea, almost 16% plus luck to get a higher critical chance and critical resist resistance as well. And lastly, for the Manchu, we are using White Wing Manchu for an another AG and flea percentage this time we are uh we put our mastering in our manchu and our, or our harpist feather we managed to maximize them just recently so congratulations to me <laughs> for that uh, aspect all right so for the skills this is the actually this is the first time that I uh, 
I will use this skill build. So previous previously as as you've seen on my uh, PBE build, I use this uh, cross reaper slasher, but then I realized that this skill is not very use useful in um, infinite uh, space infinite. It deals uh, minimal damage. The AOE damage is good. It it can uh, wipe the regular monster quickly but on if you are if we are talking infinite boss or a boss on end bridge, the skill uh, isn't doing that much so I I will try to use this one this time the dark edition this is kind of experimental this is the first time that I will use this build so I hope this will turn out good <laughs> Okay, so aside from cross reaper slasher, we didn't change anything on our build. Oh, uh, my bad. I also removed the hallucination walk, and I put all the remaining skill on uh, enchanting shadow for the additional DPS of uh, shadow uh, shadow wound passive skill for guillotine cross. Okay, aside from that, it's the same. Uh, first aid, double attack, left and right hand mastery, um, enchant the uh, deadly poison, and venom pressure for our main um, skill damage. Alright, so I think it's time for us to test our build. Currently, uh, we are focusing on uh, co op, co -op ranking. Because the co-op rewards are better. If we manage to reach top 10, we can have a top gear box and advanced card box. Compared to uh, single PvP, it, it will only give you advanced card box and card upgrade ticket. Which is, I, sh I think this should be updated to level 130 card. Because yeah, this level 100 is very low at the moment. This this reward should be updated, so that's why I focuses on uh, co-op co-op um, PVP instead of single. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, test our build. Good luck for us. Let's go. One, we managed to kill the character right away. Who this uh, opponent? Nice. Nicely done. I think I'm liking this build already. Hope we will uh, continue our momentum. Ooh, he again. Or I must say, she. Oops, that doesn't turn out well like the previous match. Alright, last match for this PvP video. Nice, Apple X. Let's go! <laughs> As you can uh, notice guys, Apple X has, um, if I'm not mistaken, has a 2 or 3 5 star companion, which are um, Awaken Ranger and Awaken uh, Warlock, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, his minions, I mean companions, are very strong. All of them are, I think, 5 star. Or at least um, 4 star. Okay, thank you for watching this uh, video. If you have any questions, just uh, kindly uh, leave a comment. Alright, that's it. Thank you.